What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And I'd like to thank uh, Dr. W for sending this one out. This might have been my buddy JK too. He sends me a lot of stuff too. I can't remember exactly which one. I haven't been watching the, the uh, Curiosity Rover and I went back and saw a lot of neat stuff lately. And this just look, happens to look like a little machine or something sitting out there. It has a lot of symmetry in it, a lot of, uh, a lot of interesting things. Now, I went ahead and uh, already in this picture, let me see, I sharpened that up a little bit. Let me step backwards till I have any more step. There it is right there. See, I just sharpened it up a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and all I did right here was basically use filter, sharpen. What did I do? Sharpen edges, I think, or smart sharpen, one of the two. Maybe it wasn't smart sharpen. Yeah, there it is. I'm going to hit OK. Now, all, this is the where you get it from. Now, don't worry about this. I always link the stuff down. If you if you know my channel, I always link these things. I think I'm 370 something videos in, and I link these and everything. So, and this isn't a big video. There's not much to look at in this picture, but I do say, look at the ridge. Look how there's not much around here, and just out of nowhere, there's this little thing here. Now, of course, the rover's pretty small. This one is For Opportunity Rover. Um, is nowhere near the size of the Curiosity rover and the stuff we've been looking at. But we still don't get a scale with the pictures, which, uh, you know, that bothers people, that bothers me. But it almost looks like a uh, something that would have been from people about our own size maybe build it. Let's take a real good look at it and see if we can't um, adjust anything else. It seems to have, let me grab this right here, it seems to have a circle, like a, a a rounded top and here's where I think it's something made because you've got two symmetrical pieces and see how this is actually separated this piece coming down here and this piece here they're both separated from that center piece right there so to me I'm thinking that looks pretty symmetrical um, up here at the top it goes up to here comes down around up and over down and over and it goes back into something else and you can tell it's been uh, What's so interesting is around, look at the stuff around it too. Look at the uh, the regolith, you know, the whatever around it, the the dirt. It all looks like that spider webby stuff. And with this picture, it seems to have a little bit of blur that's been used around it. Um, you know, not sure why, but see how this is a different color right here? Um, it, that seems to have been blurred out a little bit, but... That could just be, you know, because it's off in the distance. I'm not going to blame anything for anything on that one. But uh, if you start, let's start playing with the exposure a little bit. Um, see if we can't mess with the gamma. One thing with the black and white pictures, it's not, not as easy to pull things out of. But you start seeing, when you do start messing with it, things do start looking a little bit different around it. Um, you start getting some 3D effect to the stuff that's around it the with some of it looks like you know the opportunity rover it was always it's never actually taken well they say it's never taken with the color picture that they usually add the colors when they get back to earth um but who knows who knows what's going on there i have seen some amazing panoramics from it in color and uh so i, I do believe there's one camera on there that's color to see how some of this stuff up close is blurred out they use the same tactics on these that they do on the other Right here, you've got something that looks interesting, but seems like half of it's been blurred out. Not really sure, guys. Like I said, this one seems to be... I'm, I'm not going to take too much time up. You guys know I'm a busy man. You guys are all busy. I don't want to take too much of your time up. If I had saw some other really neat stuff on here, I would have. Up here, there's a little something-something. Um, also, kind of looks like it's got an X across it. Let's see. it. Oops. Let's get on back to Photoshop. See that right there? Let me see if I can't brighten that up a little bit. It is kind of interesting, whatever that is out there. See, it almost looks like some sort of machine or something for sure. It's got a round and a thing here. You know, I was looking at some pictures from the, uh, well, basically down in Peru, some, some of the ink and stuff down there, and how a lot of the writing had a lot, all these... It looks so much like some of the stuff we're finding here where you've got like these little, you know, it's rounded off, it's straightened out, it's turned around. The way they wrote and they, they chiseled into their pictures, 
Um, and I'm looking at the what the Tiwanaku Sun God or whatever, where basically it's that huge one piece that's been broken in half. That thing is amazing. But just if you go look at that, the stuff on there looks like it. Some of the stuff we're finding on Mars is totally amazing. All right, Tone pulled it up a little bit. See, there's an X in it right here. That's pretty interesting. And over here, and, and these are just so blurry. What can we do with them? You know, I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but it looked like I saw just an X right there, and it looked like some more stuff. But And back to that main piece before I let you guys go. Keep sending me your stuff. I, I've got so many things I need to get to. I've been a busy man lately. We're still still running. I haven't reached 10,000 yet. So if you go to my website, www.whatsupinthesky.com, all I have to do is register for the website, and you're registered to win this. When I hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm basically going to print the list of people who took the time to sign up for my website, pull, them out, pull it out of a hat, and then uh, the winner is going to get – I'm going to email you and basically get your address and wherever you live in the world. I'll send it to you. Could end up costing me an arm and a leg, but who cares? You guys rock. You deal with the ads. Um, I couldn't. I couldn't love you guys more. You comment on my stuff. I couldn't ask for more. So, what do you guys think here? I don't know. I uh, this to me just looks like a machine. I, every time I look at it, it just kind of looks like it's placed in the middle of nowhere. And look at these like circles next to it right here. This is what. Oops. Good old. I'm not. Good old Apple. Um. Right here, I'm, I'm circling it right here. It's, I hate when I had the, that piece. Uh, here, look at that. And they're everywhere on it. It's like there's perfectly donut-shaped things you know, all strewn about Mars. And opportunity is in a totally different spot than Curiosity. So I thought my viewers would like this. What do you guys think? I'm going to go ahead and leave it up to you. Comment below. Hit like. Share it on Facebook. Share it wherever you go. Do it. Help me out. I haven't been making as many videos. It's summertime here. I got the pool that my father died this year. So I'm doing everything he used to do. I got the pool to open. I've got a million things to get done that I've been working on. Um, outside, I had to get a new lawnmower. Everything's been breaking. Um, how do you get a new riding lawnmower? How do you get this? How do you get that? So I'm making the videos as many as I can, and, and I've just been tired. It's amazing how uh, when you're out of shape like I am, <laughs> where you know, I go to Planet Fitness as much as I can, but half the time I just end up getting the massage and leaving. But anyway, guys, much love to you guys. I hope you guys are doing good. Had a wonderful week so far. Today is hump day Wednesday. Already Wednesday. This, this time just flying by. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know below. What's up in the sky.com? What's up in the sky? 37. My name is Will. Peace.